So, uh, as most of you know, we are working a missing person case of Armani Robertson. Um, she is a four. Um, she is married. Uh, so on 16, 2023, Armani Robertson arrived at her mother's house for dinner with her four kids. Um, on that same day, Armani Robertson left her mother's home to, re to return home along with two of the four children. Uh, two of the, uh, the other two children stayed uh, with Amani's mother, Ms. Clarine, which is their grandmother. On 7-17-2023, uh, Clarine called her daughter as they talked frequently to no avail. Um, she made several more calls uh, to Amani again to no avail. So Clarine decided to go by um, her daughter's house, Amani Robinson house, to make contact with her uh, again to no avail. Clarine made an uh, entry inside of the residence uh, to find uh, no one at the home. Um, Clarine, her mother, then decided, I'm sorry, then decided to, uh, to file a missing person report uh, because she knew that her daughter would not have uh, not have called her or they would, you know, they talk frequently, and, uh, I think daily, um, and said that she would not, you know, at least call to check on her kids. And she thought that was strange and, and it was just out of character for her uh, for her daughter. So on the uh, 17th, uh, she filed a missing person report on that same day. Um, after she filed that missing person report between the uh, 17th um, and the 19th, uh, we had done uh, some preliminary investigation, um, talked to several people, and uh, uh, due to the, uh, based on the information that we gathered from that investigation, it led us to conduct a search, a search warrant at Imani Robinson's home um, that she shares with her four children and her husband. On July 19th, the search warrant was executed. After the execution of the search warrant um, and all the information we had, had obtained from our investigation between that uh, July 17th and July 19th, this led us to the city of Atlanta and South Fulton County. So uh, during the course of this investigation, uh, my staff, investigators that is, have put over 400 hours into this case, searching for Imani Robinson and investigating why and how you know, did she go missing. We have continued to work with our local partners such as the GBI, uh, GSP, APD, um, I believe South Fulton, uh, as well have had, we've had some aerial searches, uh, I think was conducted by GSP and there was one other uh, agency that helped with the aerial search. And we've also contacted um, a cadaver organization and several and three, over at least over three other cadaver organizations um, to uh, also help us form some type of search um, in some areas that we've identified that we may need to check. So again, um, we're just urging the community, um, any of Amani's friends um, or anyone that may have talked to Amani, may have talked to the children, may have talked to her husband, to contact the Rodney County Sheriff's Office and reach out to our investigators to give us uh, any information that they may know or that they uh, think that we might want to know. Um, as you know, uh, Amani is a mother of four children, um, 11 years of age, nine years of age, three years of age and I believe one month old. Uh, this is a mother, uh, these are children that need their mother and we are going to continue to search and investigate this case until we find a month. I have assured the family that we're going to uh, find her daughter. We're gonna find out why her daughter is missing. And so uh, we're urging the community to assist us with that. Um, and if um, anyone have any information, again, we I refer you to um, our investigators at the Rodney County Sheriff's Office. You can contact our office at 770-278-8000 for any additional information. At this time, I will turn it over to uh, Ms. Clarine for any comments that she may want to make. Good morning. My name is Clarine Anderhart White, C-L-A-R-I-N-E. Andahar, A-N-D-U-J-A-R hyphenated white, W-H-I-T-E. I live in Conyers, Georgia. 
On July 16th, my daughter, Imani Serafina Robeson, had dinner at her home with her toddler and newborn, as they stated. For context, she lives two streets away and visits almost daily. She typically takes Truth Smith Road or Highway 212 between our two subdivisions. She left my home about 5.30 on Sunday evening after we had dinner en route to her home with her two children and has not been seen since. Imani has a caramel complexion. She's about five feet, two inches tall, with dark brown eyes and a small build. Her hair is currently styled in thick, knotless braids with a reddish color, and she normally <clears throat> wears them pinned up to the back. She wears glasses and a and occasionally contact lenses. She has a tattoo sleeve on her left arm. Over the course of the last 20 years, I have lost three children. Please help me bring Imani home. Anyone who thinks they may have seen her or the car, please. There is no detail too small. We really need your help. Imani loves her children. I know she would never leave her children or myself. Please help me reunite these babies with their mother. So as I would just conclude with currently, even uh, as we speak, I have a team of investigators over in the um, conference room kind of behind us uh, meeting and discussing and planning. Uh, we in constant conversation with our district attorney's office as well. Um, and so uh, I would assure the family that uh, we're going to find some answers uh, to Amali Robertson's disappearance. Uh, someone's going to answer to this. Um, is, again, is these four children deserve answers. Um, it's, it's one month old especially, uh, including the other three kids uh, need their mother. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna work hard in finding the whereabouts of her mother and finding some answers uh, for these kids and for uh, Ms. Clarine and the rest of the family. So with that, 